Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Prism Football No Huddle Edition. Five box, pick your team number 11. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting in. If you have a rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot. Kelly with the last spot, Mojo Star next to her, his name? That person's name. There you go. Thanks everyone for getting in. There it is, no huddle. One autograph per box in that no huddle. Lamar Jackson, first player in NFL history with 5,000 passing yards and 2,500 plus rushing yards in first three seasons. I think to my knowledge, and, and knock on wood. But uh, I think Seattle, the Seahawks, may be the only NFL team that has not had a player end up on the COVID list. Can someone fact check me on that? But I think that's what I heard. I think every team has, at le has had, had at least one. Except for the Hawks of the Sea. Brad saying it's true. Yeah, I thought I heard that. I heard right. There's Shaq Thompson to 79. And we're going to sleeve all of these rookie cards a little bit later. Those parallels will sleeve right away. 900 points, we're going to give that Randomize that to one person in the break. If there's more than uh, if there's more than one, we're gonna we're gonna collect all those as one lot. I'm trying to spit out. So if there's more than that, shouldn't be more than one or two. There's Derek Carr. Got bailed out by the Jets defense. Threw a nice pass too. There's Jacob Easton to 79. I don't know. Imagine that, right, Brad? That's true. I mean, may, maybe, maybe Pete Carroll, once he got, once he got hit with a no mask fine, he was like, "Yep, guys, <laughs> not, it's not going to happen again to us." There's T. Higgins, Jamison Crowder, to fifty. The T. Higgins is a nice one. That'll go to Brian Plant, who got the uh, picked up the Bengals. It's got this no huddle parallel here. I think disco, do they still call it that? Nice uh, disco parallel and black and white. Rams, that's gonna go to, that's gonna go to Kurt. From Kurt to Curtis, Curtis Martin to 79. Oh, I think I see a herb. I do. Eyes on Justin Herbert, base, Chargers, Sean Maddock. Picked up the Chargers straight up. By the way, if you're looking for the autograph, the points takes the place of the auto. Kalen Balaj. And his teammate, Tua Tungvaluwa, Miami. Zoom in. Won the Dolphins in that pack break that we did. There's Darrington Evans for the Titans right there.
Kip Kip Hooray, what's going on? Nice, nice win for the Ravens tonight. Took care of business. Yeah, thanks for thanks for checking in. It has been a minute. Happy holidays and all that. Thankfully Des Bryant wasn't around too many other teammates apparently. Yetter Gross Matos, Tyreek Hill to 35. Yeah, maybe it worked out. They, they, they probably would have forced, end up forcing the ball to him. Maybe it would have worked out. Yeah, I did see that. I think he retracted that tweet soon after, Rebel. Yeah, I, I'd be pretty bummed too. If I'm Dez... And then I, he just fired off a tweet that was like, I'm done with the season. But I, I think I just heard maybe Colleen Wolf say that, or someone say here on the NFL Network postgame show that he kind of retracted that. Yeah, you worked this hard to come back. Like, I don't think, I don't think he'll just throw it away like that. Is Alvin Kamara, red to 50, and our first Joe Burrow for the Bengals. Brian Plant. Yeah, exactly. It's like, relax, Des. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Dallas Goddard for the Eagles, 79. And we've got Quez Watkins for the Eagles. Yeah, well, yeah, Dez used to be a diva wide receiver. That goes to Ryan Harold and the Fly Eagles Fly. I don't think you can be a diva anymore after like your skills diminish, right? There's a short window <laughs> for 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 diva ness. Yeah, don't don't you know Quez Watkins? There's the Shaquille Barrett to seventy nine. No, this this is this is no huddle, so sometimes you're gonna get some Quez Watkinses in this stuff. The no huddle obviously. I want more looking more uh, looking more parallels here. But yeah, it's it's those parallels, Kip. Those those have gone back when you started with us five, six years ago, if you didn't hit an autograph or if you didn't hit a 
a relic or something like that, that's it. Your break was over. But nowadays, all these rookie cards, like we're sleeving all of those rookie cards at the very least. And then like the, like the top tier, maybe the top two tier of rookies that we've decided top two tier rookies will also get top loaded, but every rookie will at least get, will at least get penny sleeve now. Like that's how crazy it's gotten. And obviously any of the top rookies, good parallel. I mean, that, that's huge too. Right, I think some people still lament that. They're like, man, we can actually go buy blasters at Walmart or Target. Not anymore. I mean, on one hand, that shows you how strong the secondary market is, which is nice. Maybe we should just enjoy this while it lasts, but... But so far, so good. There's uh, Julian Blackman to 79. Yeah, I think that's something that maybe... I don't know how the manufacturers will, will try to handle that. There's Dak Prescott to 50. But yeah, that's what it seems like in a, in a lot of areas. It's like people who are just like just buying it just to flip it for two, three, four times the price. Poor Dak Prescott. Um, like they're talking to those drivers. Nice Joe Burrow. Brian Plant with the Bengals. Nice Joe Burrow. I know. I know some some stores or some st retail stores are trying to limit the amount of boxes you buy. Most stores don't care, you know. So, nice Tua. Let me set that right there. So that's a black and white Tua with the disco pattern. Nice one for the Dolphins. Zoom in. Derek Hard, thirty-five. But I want to. I'm. I'm almost certain that those, that the, that the guys who stock, those blaster boxes. Are third party. Stalkers, right? So yeah, I don't know how much, I don't know what the kickback would be for them, for it to be worth it. It's Justin Herbert. So Minka Fitzpatrick will go to Sean Maddock and the Steelers. That's to 79. And we've got a nice Justin Herbert here for the Chargers. That's going to go to Sean Maddock. But yeah, I don't know how the major manufacturer, maybe they change whatever third-party service they use to deliver those. Or try to have them, I don't know how you solve that problem. Because I, I mean, is it how much, how, right, yeah, I think that's the company, right? Excel Marketing. So maybe they have to police it more, but this is for uh, Sue Min in Miami. But is it worth it for them to police it? There's Jared Cook to 50. Do they secretly kind of like it because there's just a lot more buzz? We'll add a lot of points. We'll add that to the points pile. That'll be one lot, remember. Easy with the caps, Aguirre. Relax. You don't need a you don't need a yell. 
It's annoying. We've told you this before. <laughs> so next time we'll just ban you. Thanks. Probably not. Maybe just fire them. They would just get fired just like those Amazon PS5 thieves. Yeah. I don't know if you oh, Is that worth getting fired for? Just like getting a little extra money from a... Uh, I guess to some people it is. Uh oh, hot take from McGuire, offensive rookie of the year is Justin Herbert. Hot take. Right, exactly. How far does that extra seven hundred bucks go? Now, listen. If if you're if you're part of, if you're a criminal mastermind, you know, and you're making a bunch of money, I mean, I wouldn't do it. But maybe uh, maybe that's worth. It's like the people who scam try to scam people on group breaks and stuff like that. Like the like the Brandon Cooks to ninety nine guy. Like like how how much like there's that's a lifetime of business and reputation gone. For for what? It's not like life changing money. Maybe it was like life changing enough for him. Maybe. Was Eddie Jackson? Seventy nine. And we got Derek Brown for Carolina. That will be for Eric Leal and the Panthers. There's Preston Williams at 35. The Brandon Cooks to 99 story. Oh man, should we reset that story? That's a good one. There was a a. If I remember correctly, if you if you go on YouTube, you should be able to find that video. There's Zerline right there. Tough day for him at the office for the Cowboys, Cowboys edition too. Um, if you look it up on, there should be videos on YouTube, Kyle. Research Brandon Cook to 99. There may be some like stupid reaction videos and stuff like that, but if you dig through it enough, you'll see it. Basically, it was a group breaker that was on Facebook, I think. He was doing like Facebook live group breaks. And um, he was doing, if you remember, honors football. He was doing honors. And then he tried to like, and there are two encased cards and, and then one basic base card in there. And then he tried to, he had, a, he had the box set up this way. And he essentially tried to cover the camera with this. But you could see him, you can definitely see him shuffling around on the background like that trying to switch cards out. Then he claimed he was just checking his email. But you can definitely hear the rattle of like an encased card. <laughs> and then I think he tried to come back like six months later and then he was found out really quick and then was run off again. So I don't think he's around, but. Now the big mystery is what, what was he trying to steal? People are saying it was like a Tom Brady autograph. There's Justin Herbert right there. Sean with the Chargers. Right, right, right. I mean, you could tell it was just definitely heat of the moment. Where it was just like, it was just a bad rush of blood to the head and he just made a very, very bad mistake. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously he was planning on scamming somebody out of something if he got the right hit. But yeah, knock over the camera, kick over the power cord, turn it off, you know, like, do something. But I think just, just lost it.
with one two punch staff and the Husky. Baker Mayfield played his best football game. So I'm not saying that they are back until they get somewhere near what I saw. All right, there's Warren Moon to 35. Thanks, Aguirre, for that information. You can you can you can go on a pretty good uh, pretty good scam group breaker kind of uh, rabbit hole. A lot of them are just like you just palm to forehead, and you're just like, what? How did that person think that they were gonna get away from that? Get away with that? But that Brandon Cooks a ninety nine one is is uh is pretty awesome. I think that one, the Brandon Cooks a ninety nine, I think has to be the best one. It's kind of funny now. I feel bad for the people involved in that group rig. Just be, be careful out there, folks. I know that this is. All this is really exciting and and fun, but it's worth just I don't know. It's worth just doing your research and or watching a group, you know, for a little bit for a few days at least, just to see what they're uh, just to see if they're a, a sort of reputable sort of group. We're lucky enough to have like an actual storefront, like a brick and mortar, and we've been around for a little while, so we've, we've been able to sort of establish ourselves. Not everyone can have a store. It helps, though. If they have a physical location, you know, that'll, that can – some good tips. Just, just be smart. And if you if, if you're just not feeling a group breaker or something like that, many many others. There's Joe Namath to 50, many others to choose from. So just move on with move to whoever you're feeling comfortable with. And we've got Colin Johnson for the Jags. Kelly, last spot mojo. We got to find a Jalen Hurts for Ryan, right? I feel like we got all the other quarterbacks except for him. There's AJ Dillon, Antonio Gibson. I'm running out of packs. This goes to Travis and the Packers. Justin Jefferson. Anthony Gordon. Come on, James Morgan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does go the other way, too, Bleasy. Like, we have to deal with our share of scumbag customers, you know, people who are, people who are like, I don't know, are just salty. They had a bad break, so they try to charge back. Um... We win, but we win almost all those cases, though. But, but yeah, I mean, you do run into those people. To like any other business, you're gonna you're gonna run into your share of of uh, of scumbags. But thankfully, I feel like our with our sort of brand, you know, I I feel like we you get what you give, right? There's Keelan Cole. I feel like we attract a uh, a sharper collector. There's Jordan Love. There's our Jalen Hurts. Oof. <laughs> there you go, Ryan Harold. He got at least one. And he's starting this week, so let's see. It's preemptively top load just in case he goes off.
There's Jordan Love right there as well for the Packers. That'll be for Travis. There's a guy on Facebook, Rebel, saying... He was taking e-checks for breaks, and this year he lost 2,000 with e... Yeah. E that's rough. You got to either wait for those to clear before you break. We don't accept them. Oh, poor guy. There's no Fant to 50. We're waiting for Jake Fromm stock to go up. I don't know if that's going to, is that going to happen? All right, there you go. This break has happened though. Thanks everyone for getting in. A lot of points to give away. Winner take all on the points as I mentioned earlier. Here's a quick look at that. Basically parallels are really what we're looking for here. I think Jake Fromm would have to Go to a different team. I think Josh Allen's in the way. Let's grab everyone's names here. And let's put all your names here. Name on top gets all those points. A lot of points. Three and a two, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. After five times, name on top is going to be... Brian Plant. There you go, Brian. I think you had a pretty good break, too. You had the Bengals, you had some Joe Burrows, now you have a boatload of points. There you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time.